Hi everyone, welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Full time at Molyneux, Wolves 3, Everton 0, and this is your play ratings for that match. Of course, not the best performance, probably one of the worst performances we've seen in a while. Um, so the player ratings aren't going to be too favourable, but uh, I'll try my best anyway. Um, so we'll start with Pickford. I mean, from what I heard in, in the in the commentary, a couple of times when he was he, he was okay, maybe he could do better. Maybe for the first goal, I don't know. It's a bit of a scramble on the line. Um, but look, in a, in a game like this, you expect the the, the experienced heads to start, sort of stick out. And, uh, and let themselves known. Um, so I'm going to give him a four. Michalenko. Um, I mean, we missed him when he was out of the team. He's come back into the team. I thought he was okay against City, um, but today again, it, it, I mean, everyone's everyone was awful, weren't he? So um, I'm going to give him a four. Also, Branthwaite didn't have one of his best games. Um, you know, he plays a lot of football. Fair play to him. But, uh, again, I'm going to go with a four with him. Michael Keane, um, I know he's going to be the the one that people sort of... Uh, he's going to be the scapegoat, really, again. Um, you know, I've seen tweets saying, don't start him ever again and stuff like this. But, to be honest, um, yeah, I, to, to be I, I think... I sort of agree in a way, but I think that the urgency about it is a little bit uncalled for. Um, Sean Dyche has obviously tried to to match Wolves' formation here today, and it just hasn't worked. So he's going to get a four as well. James Tarkovsky, um, not one of his best games for Everton, so I'm going to go for a four for him. Nathan Patterson didn't really do much, couldn't really um, get into the game to get himself booked, so I'm going to give him a three. Um, Dwight McNeil... Uh, it, it, he's one of the players who we sort of look to to make things happen, and uh, he he just wasn't able to do that again today. Um, of course, he had that that sort of scuffle. Uh, he was booked, and that was pretty much all he did in the game. To be honest, he did hit the bar when it was three 0 But to be honest, um, not getting a consolation goal when we're three 0 down and it in the bar isn't going to give him any more points. For me, so I'm going to give him a 3.5. It's going to go a little bit better. Um, James Garner didn't have one of his best games. He's misplaced some passes in the first half a lot. Um, so we're going to give him a 4. Amadou Onana, now this is one that people will love to talk about. Um, I've been one of his supporters, but today he was absolutely woeful. Um, to me, I think... He could probably. I think we missed a core. I think that, and I think that is one of the things that is is dragging Onana down. But for a player with the confidence that he has, he has to begin to take the game by the scruff of the neck a bit more, and um, that just hasn't been happening. Um, so I'm going to give him a three. Uh, Jack Harrison tried to make a couple of things happen. He's always going to put a lot of effort in, but again, uh, not very good. Not very good. Um, None of the players really, and I, as you can probably tell, I'm a bit lost for words. To be honest, um, I was I was listening to the the live coverage with Darren Griffiths on the app, and to be honest, there was nothing to talk about for most of the players, which is why I'm struggling to give any ratings out. Um, Jack Harrison uh, tried to make a few things happen, um, but really couldn't. Couldn't because there was, there was just no sort of um, there was no sort of the backup behind him wasn't very good with Patterson. I think he um, maybe benefited a little bit more when Seamus come on. Uh, Seamus tried to make a few more things happen. Obviously, hopefully he's back to full fitness now and we can use him a little bit more. But on the whole, I just think that um, yeah. Harrison's sort of having to do it by himself on that wing at the minute. I think Patterson has does have, still have learning to do. I'm not saying he hasn't had good games, but uh, and I'm certainly not blaming him. But when you've had no shots on target in an entire game, um, it's it's you, you know your forward players are going to get are going to get um, are, are not going to be free from from criticism. So I'm going to give him a three, and then Dominic Calvert Lewin. He's going to be one of the ones that uh, is is obviously going to be spoken about a little bit now with Beto 
in the side. Um, should he be staying in the team? I'm not too sure. He's, he fluffed a couple of chances at nil-nil, uh, and I think one at uh, one at one nil as well um, when we could have got back into the game. But I think he needs to really get find his shooting boots again. I don't know if he's unfit. Um, Sean Dyche has definitely managed his fitness well. I don't know if he's low on confidence. I don't know what's happening. Um, an interesting thing that Graham Stewart said during the match actually was how will his confidence be affected by the fact that he is constantly being taken off in games? Uh, and I think I can sort of see where he's coming from there. You know, obviously, in the Carabao Cup, he came off at 60 minutes against Manchester City. He came off early and today uh, he came off in the 74th minute. Um that can affect a player, I'm guessing. Uh, but, you know, I think, to be honest, if he wants to stay on the pitch, he has to start doing more. And he was brought on against Manchester City and missed a good chance. Um, so he's certainly not in the... You know, he's he's not free from blame whatsoever. Um, and, yeah, I'm struggling to come up with words for Dom's performances lately. He's just been very... His, his effect on the game hasn't been there enough. I know during the, the, the sort of good patch that we had, he was doing quite well at holding the ball up and, you know, trying to make things happen. And I can I rate that side of his game a lot, but um, he's going to have to start scoring again, especially with Beto breathing down his neck. Uh, as far as the subs go, Andre Gomez made a couple of things happen. Sorry, I, I'm going to give Calvert-Lewin uh, a three. I think he really needs to, to step his game up now and start, start scoring again. Um, Andre Gomez, from what I heard, from what Danny Griffiths was telling me, he made a bit of an impact on the game. Uh, tried to make a couple of things happen, and hopefully um, that carries on. Uh, but you know we do miss the core eight desperately. Um, so a five, I'm guessing. I'm not too sure. I think to be honest, all the subs are probably all the subs. While they're not free from blame, um, they did, you know. We didn't concede a goal with any of them on the pitch. Um, most of them came on to just manage the game out, make sure we weren't too embarrassed by the end of it. So I'm going to just go fives all around for the substitutes. It's it's very hard to to give a substitute a, um, a, a, a any sort of rating really when they've come on and not affected the game in a positive way, um, unless they've come on and really impacted the game and made it. You know, created goal scoring chances and we've scored from them. It's really hard to do that. So, um, we're going to give fives all around. We need to see more of Dan Juma, I think, now. We need to see more of Beto. Hopefully, Seamus is fit to come back and Gomez should be starting. They're basically what I'll, what I'll, what I'll, my ratings on the players for this game because I think right now that midfield of Garner and Onana is missing Decore so heavily in front of it. I think Key needs to be brought out. I'd stick with the five at the back. You know, we're not playing. I, I, against Manchester City, it worked okay because it helped us nullify that threat a little bit. But against Wolves, you know, we should be playing our best side. And Michael Keane doesn't make it into our best side. Um, so, on the whole, we'll go again. We'll regroup. I'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow on the channel when I do the extra time review. And I've had time to watch the highlights again and sort of dive a bit deeper into it and look at all the goals. But um, on the whole, yeah, this is one we're just going to have to pick ourselves up from, try and move forward. Obviously, we've got Palace in the Cup next, so that's a chance for the players to put a smile back on our faces. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. Make sure you do give it a like. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave a comment on what you thought of the performance. Particularly, I want to know what you think of Michael Keane, Onana, and should Dan Juma be playing more. They're the three that I really want to... I want to get a discussion going about. Um, and, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, even in these not too great circumstances. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.